Justin here. What is going on? Thank you guys so much for stopping by for another episode of 31 Days of Halloween. Where I am posting a brand new horror themed video every single day in October. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on so you don't miss a single upload this month. Next up in our top 10 horror opening title sequences is the classic werewolf movie, Ginger Snaps. The first in a considerably well-made trilogy, Ginger Snaps is an absolute modern classic as far as werewolf movies go. The movie follows two detached and death-obsessed teens with a suicide pact and a knack for cooking up creative ways to die as a form of entertainment and a cruel torment to their clueless but well-intentioned parents. This title sequence was shot using a combination of grainy film slides, photographs, and 16mm film. The sequence is a compilation of their most morbid and gory death recreations, combined with creepy original original music from Michael Shields, it really fits the bleak yet humorous tone of the flick and the practical effects are fantastic. This movie has balls and those balls are in full display from the opening moments. This innovative and influential Canadian classic is a must see film for horror buffs. Ginger Snaps is not only my favorite werewolf movie, it's also in my top 10 or top 15 horror movies of all time. I absolutely love Ginger Snaps. All three installments in this series are fantastic. I uh, highly recommend recommend checking out the Ginger Snaps series. Coming in at number four, Jordan Peele's Us. Now some of the title sequences on this list have been elaborate or highly detailed in nature with many different setups or fairly meticulous animation, but our next opening segment is an extremely simple shot. Jordan Peele's title sequence for his groundbreaking film Us offers a uniquely basic static wide shot that slowly zooms out on a wall of caged rabbits. Although the shot is simple, the subjects featured tell a bigger story. The rabbits are one of several recurring images or symbols in the film, whether showing up on character's clothing or as stuffed animals or toys throughout the movie. Of course it's discovered that the tethered survived underground by eating these test rabbits after they were abandoned, but it's also a metaphor for being test subjects themselves, which the tethered were. But rabbits have also been known to symbolize rebirth. It could be said that the rabbits represent the rebirth of the tethered as they make their way to the outside world from the underground isolation they've emerged from. Even if that all seems a little far reaching, one cannot deny the powerful image of those poor souls trapped in those cages. What a unique intro and what a fantastic movie. I loved Jordan Peele's Get Out and I thought Us was fantastic as well. Number three, Rob Zombie's House of a Thousand Corpses. Filmed in the year 2000, but not released until 2003, Rob Zombie's modern cult classic debut feature, House of a Thousand Corpses, has a particularly unique and grotesque opening sequence. Shot a full year after principal photography on the film was actually wrapped, the opening title sequence as well as insert cut-in shots were filmed at Rob Zombie's house and in his basement. The shots featured small, hardly noticeable cameos of Rob Zombie himself, as well as Bill Mosley and Sherry Moon Zombie. I love Zombie's earlier work and I especially love this film. Some say it's his masterpiece. Hopefully he goes back to the basics and makes another standout film like this again. What a classic movie for the Halloween season. Say what you will about Rob Zombie, I absolutely loved House of a Thousand Corpses as well as Devil's Rejects. Some of the others are hit or miss, but they still have a pretty cool aesthetic. We'll see what he does next. I hope it's good. Number two, Eli Roth's Hostel. Another one of my absolute favorite movies of all time and one of the more gross movie openers comes a little gem from the love it or hate it torture porn era heydays of the early 2000s. Eli Roth's innovative and highly divisive Hostel. Released in 2006, Hostel tells the controversial story of international tourists butchered and killed for the pleasure of the highest bidder, guilty only of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. The sequence shows a low-level associate of the elite hunting organization cleaning up after one of the brutal murders of one of these innocent and hapless travelers. The creepy ominous whistling, the shots of crude medical equipment, blood and bone fragments slowly oozing down a rusty drain definitely gives you a feeling of dread. If a film is this bleak from the opening seconds, well, it pretty much tells you it's only going to get more depraved from there. Hostel will always hold a special place in the depth of my black horror heart. Eli Roth gets a little bit of hate every now and then, but I think he made a fantastic debut three films with Cabin Fever, Hostel, and Hostel 2. I absolutely love those movies. They are in my top favorite movies of all time. Now the number one on our list, Stephen King's The Shining. 
After turning down the opportunity to direct The Exorcist 1 and 2, Stanley Kubrick instead declined both to direct the next film on our list. 1980's The Shining is one of the unique entries on our list in that it doesn't have the same spooky ghosts, demons, or depictions of death and other horror tropes in its opening, but instead opts for serene aerial shots featuring ominous yet stunning helicopter footage of the Torrance family vehicle as it heads to the Overlook Hotel for the family's doomed extended stay. The sequence features the mountain ranges of Glacier National Park shot by Greg McGillivray who was hand-picked by Kubrick after the director deemed his own second unit film crew incompetent for declaring the National Park location uninteresting after a failed prior attempt at shooting the sequence. It worked out for the best as it's some of the most breathtaking cinematography in the entire film. It's crazy to think that even amateurs can get these shots nowadays with even a basic drone. The Shining is an undeniable classic. I absolutely love The Shining. It's one of my favorite movies to revisit year after year. Now we have our two honorable mentions, one of which, which was kind of somehow it slipped my mind and it probably should have been in this list and that is Trick or Treat. Michael Doherty's Halloween movie Trick or Treat is an absolutely modern classic. I love this movie. It's one of those rare, in my opinion, perfect horror films. From beginning to end, it is just a perfect horror movie and this opening title sequence is so cool as we get shots of our iconic Sam character as well as other animated shots from the movie. This movie is just fantastic. If you have not seen Michael Doherty's Trick or Treat, do yourself a favor and watch that immediately. The next honorable mention is Quentin Tarantino's Death Proof. I love this opening title sequence. The feet in front of the window is so cool. It's been debatable if this movie is a horror movie or not. I actually do consider it a horror movie. It's a slash movie in my opinion. If you haven't seen Death Proof, it was part of the Grindhouse double feature along with Robert Rodriguez's zombie movie Planet Terror. Both are fantastic movies in the throwback Grindhouse style. I definitely highly recommend both of those films in Grindhouse, Planet Terror, and Death Proof. All right, guys, that is all I got for now. Thank you so much for stopping by for another installment of 31 Days of Halloween. I'll be back every day this month with a new horror video for you guys. Thank you so much. Stay weird. And until next time, bye. I love movies. Gosh, I love movies. I love watching them and I love making them. Nah, I can't do it.